Welcome to the Art of Faith. I'm Pastor Joshua Kapczynski and my co-host, Pastor Joel Fairley. First Say Baptist hi. Church Claremont. And what else do you do? I am an artist. All right. Right now, waiting for my muse to I come back from that. Tahiti. I was, I was going to say that. We're going to find your muse. Um, that's why I am not an artist. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys are, Those are tortured li- souls. They are fickle, yeah. fickle, fickle lovers, the muses are. Uh, this podcast is about uh, art, discussing art, the creative, the creative process, and more importantly, how the creative process actually informs our faith. So to sound cliche, it's the intersection of creativity and faith. And, and we are discovering, as being pastors, that there is an art to absolutely. faith. Absolutely. But we like creative stuff, and we geek out on it on this podcast. And yeah. And whether whether you find it interesting or not, we're having a good time. Yeah, and, and I hope you are with us too. And the, the report is is that a lot of people are enjoying this. I oh good, I know, that's I, the report. I, I, I hear it all the time. I hear it. Those are the ratings. I don't know about ratings. We don't have any, we don't have any ratings. <laughs> but yet, you're but hearing people, good. Yeah. People talk to me all the time about how much they're enjoying this. Oh good, you know, they find oh, good. it interesting. So uh, <laughs> we just want to be a blessing. Yeah, quite. That's well, it. Well, we want to horse around and have a little fun. Yeah. Well, too. yeah. All right, a couple of little things. Uh, this is, um, you know, we're doing it for fun, but we also need to finance it and fund it the best we can, be good stewards. So uh, the podcast is brought to you by Pastor Joel Fairley. If you want to buy his art, how do they find your works? They can look for me at Art by T. Joel on uh, Instagram. Yeah. And, uh, and call you up, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and call me up, and my my email, you can call me at my email, T. Joel Fairley, call me at my, yeah. contact me on my email at T. Joel Fairley at, excuse me, T. Joel Fairley 65 at gmail.com. It's very cool. And it's also brought to you by me, which I am not an artist, but I am an antique dealer, an ex-museum curator, crossed over to the dark side and started dealing in antiquities and art and used furniture and junk. And uh, so everything that you see in the set, with the exception of this piece and those horse bookends and my grandpa's revival banner is for sale. Technically everything is for sale, but uh, I don't wanna sell those three things. But everything else that you see in the podcast, uh, if you're listening to it, I wanna encourage you to go over to YouTube and take a look at it. Everything's for sale. I'll give you a screaming deal on these sofas because I don't like them. Buy the sofas out from underneath I'll give us. you a great deal. Please. I'm tired of him I know, complaining he's, he's about He's tired of me complaining about it every single week. <laughs> uh, so, And I'm also, maybe you need to think about this for your art. I'm putting together a Facebook shop for this show, for these pieces, and for my other antique I'm stuff. I'm there. So maybe we can talk about that later. So anyway, uh, stay tuned. And if there's anything in the set that draws your attention, some of it's super cheap. Uh, Like that really cool clock is, I think, 60 bucks. Uh, I have a cool little Sputnik, uh, 1954 Russian Sputnik uh, memorabilia, or, you know, it's a tourist piece uh, from the Soviet Union. That one is like $85. It's really a great piece. So I've got some things that are inexpensive. Um, some of the current little pieces in there are Ming Dynasty. And so any, anywhere is between, you know, 6000 to 65 bucks. Something for everybody. Something for everybody. All right, uh, let's get into the show. We have a very special show planned. Uh, so Joel and I obviously riffed off each other. Yes. We're getting better and better at it. Ask me what we're talking about. We don't know. What are, you, what are we talking about? I have no idea. He's got no idea. Do and you? I have no idea. I have no idea. Either. Um, our production assistants, Luke LeJudice and Joel LeJudice. Luke works on all the visual stuff, and Joel works on all the audio stuff. And, uh, well, there's a lot of time and energy and effort that goes into this, and they're doing a great job. 
So we've asked them to give us the topic uh, for today's discussion. And we don't know what it we is. We have no idea, so we're going in cold. And uh, they have provided us some images to look at. Uh, it, you, we can you can listen to this podcast, which is great. But again, once again, it's a visual show. We mm-hmm. want to encourage you to cross over uh, at some point, and so you can see the images. So, guys, are we ready to jump in? Yes. Yes. Hmm. Core boogie. Silhouette. Wonderful. Paint your faith. Are these Christian artists? Oh my God. Shutter and Church in Toronto, Canada. Downtown Toronto, in one of the uh, most vibrant, diverse neighborhoods in the city. It's directly behind Metropolitan United Church, which is one of the oldest United Churches in Toronto. We're inviting four artists to paint on a on a wall what faith means to them. Chor Boogie, who is from California, Silhouette, who is from California as well, and then Mm. from Toronto, Media and Elixir. These four are four of the most acclaimed aerosol artists in North America today. We feel that this is a wonderful opportunity that Wonder Cafe has given Mm. to Metropolitan Church to put a Paint Your Faith event on one of our misused walls. Wow. When I got this call, I was like, I was really excited about it. I was really excited about it because um, I'm a very spiritual person. The theme is paint your faith. It was basically gonna help uplift my spirituality and take my artwork to another consciousness. I'm a creator. I believe that everybody has a purpose here on this planet, if not this universe. And we're all put here to create something. There's a... there's a you know Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost involved as well. But then there's it's it's what you want of your what you want to make of your life. You know what I mean? What what are your great expectations for life? Kind of that's what I think my faith is. Um, I'm a Christ follower, so I'm Christian. So to be able to do a project where I can apply my artwork and do something for God in that kind of context and really display the dynamics of my faith uh, uh, through my artwork, that was uh, an exciting opportunity. The positive flow within the work basically has some type of magnetic energy that can attract you. Huh. The piece moves. So basically, the if piece it moves, moves. It moves you. It's, it's wonderful to see the community come by and to begin to ask themselves about questions of faith. It's wonderful to have artists painting as well because faith always belonged in the community, on the street. It came out of human imagination. And it's only when it went into the churches later that it tended to harden. Strength, patience, tolerance, abundance, genuine spiritual love, gratitude is attitude, honesty, willingness, humbleness, health, wealth, wisdom, knowledge, trust, truth, and faith, acceptance, adjustments, intentions, peace. art that has come up from the streets but it's oh getting mainstream acceptance now and people are starting to recognize it for what it is which is a really wonderful expression of youth culture in particular but also a great way to um, convey spirituality and, and um, hope and uh, mm. the power of, Holy of creativity smokes. All right. So is this the first picture we want to you want us to respond or is to? Is that the intro? This is all of them collaborating on it together. They all collaborated on we're it. Show the the okay. Right. So what we're we're commenting on that piece. Wow. All right. A bit of a collage. It's it's almost even unfair to call it street art because there's a preconceived <laughs> notion of what street art is. Usually uh, when you say street art, you're just thinking of Graffiti, tagging, tagging. But this is a little bit more than. No, this, this is, is a, this is a serious piece. Yeah, and 
um, you know, it is on the street yeah. and you can observe it from the street and there's cars around it, but um, it's brilliant. There's something, and, there's something truly remarkable about this. And it's got my juices flowing. I don't know about you. Oh. But I don't know who that stuffy United Church of Christ guy was, but that's cool that he's like, let's do this. Let's. Oh, absolutely. So. Absolutely. It's really interesting. Um, if, for me, if I've seen this before um, and, and not having any real knowledge of anything, um, and it's just refreshing to see the, the, uh, uh, the artists themselves who have you know have a, a have a faith and mm-hmm. rooted in faith, and calling themselves and defining themselves as Christ followers. Yes, exactly. And but this painting in this painting, there is as I'm looking at it, there is not one conventional no. Christian image in there. There's no, not really. Not really. No, there's I I I I don't see a cross. No. I There's one in there. I see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I do now. I do, but I didn't see it yeah. before. But there um there's I I I don't it's you know, I don't see a lion. I don't see yeah. you know, I don't see the Calvary. I don't yeah, see yeah. Um, sure. anything. I don't see Jesus in there, but it is speaking powerfully to our faith. So guys, this is a mural with four artists. They all collaborated on this one piece. Is that right? Wow. Okay. So there's four different artists in this piece. Again, this is definitely a crossover. If you're listening, just find uh, this at the Granite Creek YouTube pages. You got to see it. Um, initially, the, okay, so, so it's a collaboration, four different artists. So you do have um, a mishmash of four different styles being crammed into one piece, and somehow they're able to pull it off and make and it, it work. And it, it's, it's all there. It all works. It all works. So there's a, uh, a surreal aspect to it. So it's kind of got a little bit of a, a dolly vibe in the right-hand corner. There's some abstract geometric shapes that's probably a different artist there's some realism there's obviously graffiti inspired art who else do you see joel just artistically take the faith out of it what like what what styles or impressions or influences what influences do you see well um my first my first impression is it's incredibly well balanced yeah for me and and that would be interesting because you would say that because there's a lot of stuff going on, but yeah. it's really real well balanced. There's a uh, there's a connection between in the palette that um, the compositionally it's 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 exceptional. It's the colors except, work. The colors work. There's a there's appropriate amount of repeating of colors and patterns somewhere to tie it all together um, again and. Um, and there is a lot of emotions. Yeah, there is almost every um, human emotion that is expressed in this, and um, and and I'm I like that it doesn't have all the answers for you, and no, it doesn't answer all your questions. It doesn't, and like, and you really can't figure out what the theme is by looking at it. But yes. what it does do is it pulls you in. Yeah, and you've got to, you've got to think, and you've got to look. And you have to feel yeah. when you look at this. It forces you to feel. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure, you know, what the topic was. You know, I don't know what the that church leader said. Hey, I want something on this, or if he just gave them complete, you know, creative freedom to create whatever mm-hmm. they want. Mm-hmm. You know, now that you've. Uh, I didn't see the cross in the first glance. There's the cross. There's I know, also... but 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 now that you've you pointed it out to me, I can't unsee it. And right, for sure. So it seems it's all this piece is all being anchored by that one. Because that area does suck you in. It's on the right side of or the left side. Yes. Of the of the piece. Yeah, the right it hand side of it there, pull, sure. is pulls you pulls you over. So in one sense, I don't know, I don't know why that is necessarily well you got those eyes maybe that's it because you're well, lo- you got, looking at those eyes it, and you're, those eyes draw your eye 
Well, and there's two sets of eyes that are yeah. very strong. The other eyes represented in the are not as prominently framed yeah. as as those are, and it's um. For well, first of all, come on, color. Yeah, hello. The colors. I never met a impressive. color I didn't like. So, <laughs> and it, they're all there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's also. It seems to be quite a few angel wings too. Mm -hmm. So if there's a theme, I mean, clearly it's a it's a spiritual theme. Um, you know, you've got some traditional wings thrown in there, some abstract wings thrown in there. So there's an angelic presence, and it seems to me that there is an invitation to the cross. Mm -hmm. So there's some people that are looking at it. There's some people that are not. There's a disturbed-looking character with the crown. Mm -hmm. He's not interested. But there's like there there does seem to be an invitation. Mm -hmm. I and keep... there's the poor. There's the young. Yeah. Uh, there's there's the, the old. Dis despondent. There's the curious. Yeah. There's the hurt. Yeah. Interesting. All right, there it is, just opposed that's to the, the, church. the church. Okay, it's cool that they did that. Yeah, I, mean, I think that's they, I brilliant. So that's probably like their I parking have a, lot. Man, I have a, I have a big old parking lot wall. But you should paint it. I know. Do I, this. I got to get permission. But oh I, I would love that. Just do it, Joel. What are they going to do? Just do it. Ask. You need to do what I do. You just, you ask for forgiveness over permission. I understand. No, I'm just kidding. It's a big wall. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm old, but I I sure can see how lovely that is. Well, in this something like this would fit in our city. Yes, and oh, not yeah. only would it fit in our city, it would minister to our community, and it would yeah. be a draw. This is what we're talking about for our city, actually. Yes, it's we this are. type of re renaissance, not necessarily revival, but yeah. we're talking about this type of a renaissance. And what, two of those artists are California artists, right? Los Angeles artists? We're the We're Los Angeles. We're Los Angeles. We're the county. Yeah, we're the yeah. last city in Los Angeles. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So this is the artist. Core Boogie. Uh yeah, I, this is the he this is the guy that did those eyes with yeah. the cross that just kind of drew you in. And he is a spray can artist, it looks like. Yeah, he looks like he has rattle cans. Yeah. This his stuff kind of reminds me a little bit of your stuff, Joel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I could I I think we are um we we share a similar muse in that regard. Um yeah. I'm I'm always attracted to eyes and there are several of my paintings. But that, even the color and the shapes Oh yeah, me absolutely. Of your stuff. Absolutely. All right. Some well, of my pieces are represented here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Joaquin Lamar Haley is his name. This is well, this is his real name. Uh, Boogie is his art name, and yeah, this is uh, again very surreal, abstract. Um, yeah, very Dolly feeling, right? Yeah. Oh my. I. Oh yes. Very much so. And I love this. I love this. That um, you know, there are those who are going to look at this and they appreciate the color, but they're going to say, uh, "It's not my thing. I I need a I need a meaning defined for me. Right. I need something. I need it absolutely defined. And yeah, I don't think I don't. This isn't. Yeah, defined. I'm not quite sure if he's trying to say something specifically. No, I and I think in the midst of it could be if we were to put an interpretation on this, if it could be in the midst of the busyness mm -hmm. of everything being being um, thrown at our eyes, at our senses. Yeah. It's almost sensory overload. Sure. If you can. Cuz you got straight lines and orbs. Yes. And Yes, and you have um, squiggly lines. You have images that don't necessarily relate to any other. Yeah. But well, it's all pointing to the eyes. Right. And then you also have very modern-looking 
images with uh-huh. with the you know the the streams of light or the bars yeah. or whatever. But then you also have some very pr- um, tribal images as well mm-hmm. to, to the left of the painting. So what is so what is your um, what what are you most attracted to in this painting? Okay, I'll tell you what. Well, it's the eyes. Uh huh. But it, am I? It does feel like it's a it, it's a combination of the new and the old of modern technology and ancient art, ancient forms. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. And it, what it yes, the, yeah, what it does remind my first impression on this piece. Uh, I don't know if it was influence. I mean, who knows? But this is what. I feel that the influence was was 2001 Space Odyssey. Yeah. At the end when he's just kind of going through his, you know, his trip. So it's kind of a bit of a trip, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. But that's that was my first impression. Like, well, this reminds me of 2001 Space Odyssey. Yeah. But yeah, there's, a tri- there's some tribal stuff and then there's some high-tech feeling to it as well there's yeah you know and then the color these are the these are the um these are the paintings that that make you these are the for me these are the paintings yeah. that make me think for sure um i probably it it's also uh, my nervous system is really reacting to it yeah. my 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 nervous system is on is yeah. tingling like crazy yeah. on it. it it's just Guys, does this have a title? Uh, I wasn't, we didn't get titles for some of okay. them. Do, some of okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just the location. Got it. Yeah. This. If you want to get through all the pieces. All right. Well, Let's go to the next one. Okay. Well, this is just one more a point I wanted to make. You don't relax in no. front of art like this. No. This is, this is, a, this arrests you. I think it's supposed to arrest you. Get your attention. Pay attention to me. Yep. Same artist. It kind of reminds me of you. <laughs> Sorry, reminds me of your work a little bit. This this was a little more illustrative. Tell me why it's illustrative for you. It just feels like it's trying to tell a story or to relate okay. to a story, and it okay. feels whimsical. Yeah, there's no question about that. Um. So these are these are two different pieces or three different pieces on one page. There are two. This is actually two, so technically Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. Yeah, I'm I'm the the left hand side of the the left hand painting for me is the one. Um just simply because it I love the they had lots of con tonal contrasts, light and dark contrasts, and some yeah. some highlighting of of things that they want you to see, um, which I miss in the right hand one. Um, I like the right hand one better. But oh, good, because then you can have that in yeah. your house, and I'll have the left hand. I think you know, and <laughs> just kind of basically back to you and your work. It reminds me of you plus. That they both have the ocean involved in this one, and we know, yes. we know you like the ocean. Yes. So there's a journey going on here, in my opinion. Maybe yeah. It's something that looks like a canoe and a wave and riding mm-hmm. the wave, and it's cool. I like it. I like the um, I, I like the softness mm-hmm. of the left hand one. Yeah, yeah. I figured you would. And <laughs> yeah, I figured you would. <laughs> I like the bold one on the right. Uh-huh. So <laughs> I know. I know. It's so yeah. It's to me. It's a, the little. It's the left hand one's a little more embraceable. Mm-hmm. And if they're trying to say, if he's trying to say something specific, I don't know if we know what it is. But nope. there's movement. There's power to it. And I, and, yeah. And I I get the thing I get I love about this that I uh, both of these both of these in his work in general I love about it is um, he, he's riffing. Mm. He's just riffing. And again, this is all spray cans, right? This is all spray can. He is yeah, he, he's got some he may have an agenda, but he's kinda he's kinda winging it from there. Mm. And the one on the right hand side is more winging it 
has a more winging it feel to the other one does. Yeah. But he's winging it. This is very much, it feels like um, Walensky. You know Walensky? I'm not as familiar with his work. Uh, so he's the one that tried to paint paintings like music. So he listened to music and yeah. said, this is what I say. Okay. And Well, I do that. I've done that. I have, you've done that? I have several pieces that are that, are that way. Um, yeah, that's... He always comes back to the eyes. Yeah, well, that's obviously a thing for him. Yeah, it's neat. It's, I get it. Because <laughs> I come back to eyes a lot. And geomet geometrical shapes. Mm -hmm. he, he has clusters of geometrical shapes shapes and everything yeah so this one has a little more white space than his other uh -huh. pieces do his other pieces are just they're there's not a they're just full uh-huh so this one he's using some negative space um, I have no idea what he's trying to say he's got an eyeball he's got clouds he's got this little green bird and I it's, we, we don't know it's arresting it is arresting um, and it does feel like music to me. Uh huh. Very active. Uh huh. Jabari, or his street name is Elixir. 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 Sorry, Elliot, a visual artist based in Toronto, Canada. Graduated so from... He has an animation background. Okay. Elliot has amassed a collection of murals and public work that have come to help define Toronto's cityscape. All right, let's see what Eliezer, okay. Eli Elixir, has got to say. Oh, All right. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so very the bottom half, very graffiti, uh -huh. street art-inspired. Uh, Clearly the foundation yeah. of the rest of it. And then everything kind of gets... This is really cool. So what we're seeing is uh, he's painted on the side of a of a, an apartment complex or a house inside of a city. And street art on the bottom level, and then it begins to change and morph into Tetris. Two figures playing Tetris. Two figures playing Tetris. And he's able to use these tetra, Tetris pieces... He's integrated them to the actual windows of the house. He also integrated into the chimney. And in the chimney. At the top. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's really fun. It's really neat. I yeah. mean, it's really cool. And so... It's a lot of fun. Two individuals will describe them as being urban. Uh-huh. And they're putting these pieces, these Tetris pieces together. A man, uh, a woman, a male and a female. Yeah. Can't quite figure out if they're together or not, but they're in the same house. I don't know if one's a mom and one's a son. That's yeah. not. Can't figure that part out. But they're all. I, my, I just say that they're just trying to build a life together. They're building a home together. They're yeah. building something together. Coming out of the street. Yeah. You know, they're for trying sure. to. Uh, we're we're from the street. The street um, represented mm -hmm. by you know very strong, um, imag that you would imagine graffiti to be like. Yeah. And they're on top of that or building on top of that. And that's good. Okay, here's something that's pretty pretty cool and amazing that um, that art is does for us is take any of take any one Tetris block or Tetris shape. Okay. Clearly three dimensional. Mm -hmm. All right. It has each of these blocks have three steps to it three steps and three processes a darker color on top uh, um underneath a lighter color and then yeah. and then what gives it its three dimension is this simple swash of white in the corner yeah yeah i wouldn't have noticed that but yeah, I see and that. it in those three different things you have a three-dimensional piece, and it works. I yeah. mean, it it it's coming off the wall. 
And I and so I love that about artists who yeah. are able to it gives uh, it depth. Yeah, give yeah. it depth through an economy of processes, and it's not yeah. a whole lot. And that's what that what that's what makes it fun. Yeah, but it's almost that that Trump Loy effect. Yeah, yeah. Trump Loy is this uh, basically realism in art that makes it look like it's real, but it's not. Yeah, it gives it depth and yeah. I, I like the stylized figures too. I don't know, like so these characters' heads are bigger than normal, and they've got some. I don't even know what the technique is or how you would describe the style, but it's not cartoony. It's characterized. It's characterized. It's a caricature. For They're sure. Character, caricatures of it. One is more extreme yeah. caricature than the other. You know what it does feel like? It feels like the caricatures that you would go get at Disneyland. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's a little more detailed than, you know. Uh -huh. It's really, no, it's 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 really nice. It's really good. I'm, I could, I could, I could sit across, if there were a bench across the street from that, I could mm. sit at that and every day and eat lunch yeah. and watch that painting more than I could the other ones. This is... You like that? I just like this. I yeah. like it. Um, it's peaceful to me. It's fun for me. It's, um, you know, I want to play the, I, you know, I want next. I want to play Tetris next. Mm. <laughs> cool. You know. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. All right. There's these stylized figures again. More of him. This is uh, so. Wow. There. This is elixir again, correct? Yeah, this is okay. elixir. Um, they are more stylized than the previous characters. So it's a group of. I think we have to call them. I don't. What are we gonna call them? Minority? I'm not sure. I don't know. It depends on what community they're in. Uh, there is a there is African American, a, yeah, there's Asian, a, there's Hispanic, a third world feel yeah, to it. Muslim, uh, urban look to all these stylized characters, and uh, they do have a very urban feel. Uh -huh. But the background is all nature. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it's a calling it, or a it, well. It has it. It. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it is all nature. So from the desert, there's a desert, yeah. there's a, and it's a stylized desert. It's a stylized mountain, um, stylized cliffs. And these people don't seem right. They seem like they're longing for something. They're vexed. Yeah, and the, specifically the guy in the middle is looking up and... Why, like, Lord, why, yeah. why? <laughs> yeah, there's some hurt there. Yes. Yeah, they're they're um, they they are they have that in common. There's a bit of um, a bit of angst and and pain yeah. going on in each one. Notice the girl in the green. Yeah, on the left hand side, she seems to be leaning in towards the um, the figure with his um, yeah. his or her head wrapped. And ministering, her, it seems yeah. like she's kind of, you know, doing some comforting there, mm. and um, she's the only one in that that doesn't seem isolated from the others. Okay, um, that she's finding a human connection. Right. The other ones are pretty pretty isolated. Yeah. And uh, and boxy, boxy. Yeah. This 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 gal kind of flows a little bit, mm -hmm. but. Um, yeah, it's interesting. That you, yeah, you're right. But there's nobody. Um, hmm. Yeah, she's the most natural of them all. Yeah. Everybody else is. Yeah. More and more, a little abstracted. Nobody's looking at each other. Yeah. Um. The there's the the one. It looks like um, the image of the Asian woman in the red hood who's who's like smack dab in the middle of them she's the middle figure she's staring off towards um the figures um to the extreme right but no one's looking back at her yeah mm. and um even though there's a connection with the the girl in the green dress with the the person with the hooded um the hood completely over their head they're not cut there there's no eye contact there right and it seems like the one who is looking up, who is kind of in the middle, the one who is looking up, 
is is making eye contact with the only one who can help. Yeah. Yeah. And sure. I'm I'm wondering if that's and everyone's looking to make to a connection. Sides, yeah. But he's looking up. And he's looking up. But he's not a happy camper yet. No, not yet. I mean, yeah. we, but he's looking in an appropriate place yeah. in when going through pain. Yeah. All right, let's go to the next one. More realistic. Very realistic. And there is some abstraction, but this is a real life subway scene. Subway scene. The um. The figures, some of the, some of the, like the man in the middle. He is his proportions. The one with the big head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His the white guy with the big head. <laughs> everyone else is everyone else is proportioned appropriately to the um, to the perspective, except big head man. And he seems and, cynical, and that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's like he's looking back at the artist, saying, "What are you doing? Yeah. Why are you doing this?" And everybody else is. Um, there seems to be a theme of, of of people ignoring one another. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had to ride the subway, Joel? No. Oh yeah. Like for work. Oh, I would. Um, I I rode the train not not on a regular basis, right? It. Yeah. But I every week when I went to seminary in Philadelphia, oh. I went. I rode the train down to, down to the city. So you know week. this feeling. Oh, I know the feeling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. I had to take the the train and the bus into Seattle. I hated that. <laughs> I just was miserable. Yeah. Yeah. It's... um. And this is actually a work that has been posted in the subway. A subway yeah, that, that's what's neat. In, yeah. A subway yeah. scene in the subway. Yeah. It really is. This is this is neat. It what what it is, and this is the exact feeling you get when you're in a subway or a public transportation. You are um, you are crowded, but you're alone. Yeah, isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? I always felt yeah. alone in in a crowded subway. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean that's that's the good commentary on our society yeah. is that we are the most connected society the world's ever seen, and yet we're the loneliest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know we yeah. we got hordes of people all around us, and we don't even know our neighbors. It's really that's a great this is a great statement on on the human condition, the modern human condition for sure. Hmm. Crowded in. It, like sardines into a subway and and hmm. isolated and can't make a connection. All right, next one. Megan Spin Love. All right, gotta love that. Silhouette name. is her street name. Silhouette. For the last decade, Spin Love has painted or promoted multicultural events in over fifty cities around the world creating portraits that have become recognized primarily for their ethereal tones. It got my attention. Ethereal tones and vivid color spectrums. Aesthetically speaking, her style has been compared to Art Nouveau. I'm in. <laughs> and stained glass and waves. All right, let's 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 see this guy. All right. That's... Yeah, geez. Look at that. Yeah, I can see the Art Nouveau. Yes. Uh, What's the Art Nouveau for you? It's this the 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 swirly lines uh -huh. that don't end. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this deer's eyes, but it's kind of freaking me out. It's that good. Yeah. Is deer in the, the headlights. Deer in the headlights. Yeah. All right, so it's a deer um, psychedelic feel. Um, so when you think of Art Nouveau style, Art Nouveau is going to be like. You know the old old school Coca Cola posters mm -hmm. with uh, Muncha and you know stuff that was coming out of Czechoslovakia near, near the 1900s. Yeah, and so this kind of has that feeling, but we're not looking at a model; we're looking at a deer. Uh huh. And she's made this deer sexy, and it's good. beautiful. It's just yeah. it um, the the swirling of it. I I love. I just absolutely love, and I'm. 
my favorite part of of this painting is um, is the the deer's hindquarters that um, yeah you know, she has the brown there that says this is a brown deer but then she her use of violet and other colors to create contrast and shadow it just really and it and again it flows into the swirls that are mm. already there and um, it's it's really neat it it's like the it's like it's almost feel as like the the swirls begin and end at the deer yeah and then come out in the antlers the antlers for are, sure are just they are on fire they're on they look so so good all right let's go to the next one all right so this is roses rosettes um very floral natural feeling but this one feels like stained glass would you agree yeah oh yeah because of the heavy use of black yeah and the has heavy use of outline you got stained glass colors. in your church right um yeah or colored glass we have colored glass yeah. we have we have stained glass we have a whole my favorite part of the church is our our red and blue brick colored wall with mm -hmm. with is um Stained glass. Yeah, yeah. I love that's very distinctive to me of our church. I like it. So this is very decorative. Like yeah. this is something that um, you know, not only would you want to hang it on your wall, you'd want to, you know, you would put this on your cell phone cover. Mm -hmm. It's that pretty. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, it is pretty. Uh, and so th it's aesthetically pleasing. It's yeah. not trying to make a, a statement. It's not trying to shock this would, you. This would be a this would be a, a big art piece yeah. in finding a found in a corporate headquarters yeah, for sure. to decorate a boardroom or yeah. Or, I put this on the bulletin cover. Yeah, you know it's 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 really pretty. I'll, I'll be expecting that. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, there, oh, it there is. we go. Yeah, again more. And here's the moral. The yeah, mural. mural more decorative. Aesthetically pleasing, big giant flowing lines, oh, and big bold colors. That would that's huge fun. movement. What do you what what are your what's your initial impression on that? Oh well, first of all, they had she had me at green. Mm -hmm. I know <laughs> we, we both like green. Yeah, I um, so I I I really I really I really like this. Like, what, you know, is it just shapes, or is she? Is it something? I can't. There's no. Out. I don't think there's. I don't think there's any intentional subject matter, other than the, the other than what we're able to create in our imagination mm -hmm. when we put the swirls and the colors and the lines together, in our own head and heart. But it, there's a. It here. It is though. It's living. Mm -hmm. This is this is a this is a living thing. This has life in it. And um, and that's what I I would say about all the pieces that we've seen yeah. of her so far. There's there's great life in them, and you know all of yeah. them. I be, I think for me this one has the most distinctive style. Mm -hmm. Well, not yeah. really. no, and, and it also has the most commercial style. Yeah, and that's. Yeah, you know, so you know, this piece was painted in somebody's boardroom or a hotel lobby or something. You Absolutely, can see, you know, you can see the, mm, the champagne like bottles there. So, like, they're gearing up for a wedding or an mm -hmm. event or something, but they've commissioned her to to spice up uh -huh. a horribly boring office building, and that that's I yeah. love that. Yeah, I I think it's neat. I totally neat. All right, let's go to her, her next one. Yvonne Blake is a Canadian multidisciplinary and visual artist who has worked under the pseudonym Madaya or Madia. Media. Media. Oh my gosh. Media. Media. For 25 years. Media. Heavily inspired by avionics, mechanical engineering, and schematics. All right, let's take a look at this guy's Media. stuff. Media. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this wow. is where we're kind of getting into the abstract expression and this is and you can see the the um the mechanical the feel mechanical that you know that's a ship <laughs> yeah yeah almost as it almost feels like uh oh so oh that's cool yeah i mean that's really cool it almost feels like transformers uh-huh and uh, yeah it's 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 real fun he reminds comic me comic book yeah um he reminds me of um 
of a comic book artist who has is, wasn't connected with Marvel or DC, but um, call Paul Roquefort. Okay. And or I, I think that's the name. I'm I hate that I can't remember, but he has a he one of my favorite characters that of a comic book he read was. Um, was called Velocity, oh. and she is a uh, um, she is a speedster. And if you, when he renders her costume and renders her outfit, there's all these geometric shapes within this green costume, and it's mm. it, it's a play on green and orange. It's just strikingly beautiful, and this so reminds me of this. I really I have rendered this in some of my in some of my paintings I've rendered and borrowed the pieces of just like, let's just create this, this um, ge geometric shape in it. And it just is. Yeah. That feels a little bit like your work too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this. So the, the, the canvas on this piece is another building uh -huh. and um, you can kind of tell just by the surroundings <coughs> that this is a poor neighborhood. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he got permission to do this probably did, but like this is in a lower income type of a community and on coming off the side of this building uh, are two uh, satellite dishes that he has incorporated into his work. He's made, mm -hmm. he's made them work. Got these white satellite monstrosities sticking out of a building for somebody's, you know, TV reception. Yeah. And he's used it. It's really I would cool. have, I would have liked to see him incorporate the right hand one better than he then it's yeah. Then he, uh, better than he did. It still feels like it's moving. Though. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it has its own individual satellite yep, feel to sure. it. Yeah, that's right. neat. For sure. What's this guy's name again? Uh, Med Media. Media. All right. Media. There we go. All right, let's go to this next one. Oh yeah. Oh man, this is fun. Look uh, at that yeah. geometric shapes. Oh, gosh. This is absolutely media. All right. Uh, this is a, a, a temporary piece that's mm -hmm. painted on wood, a wood fence somewhere in a city area. It's got to be Canada. Uh, uh, limited palette. Yeah. Oranges and oranges, whites and greens and yellows. But... Still very, very mechanical. I can't tell what this one is. The, the, the first one, you can kind of see a jet. Yeah. But this is just pieces, and it's, I, I don't know what it is. Do you know what it is? I don't. I don't care. Yeah. Okay. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a structure, I want to live there. If it's a vehicle, I want to drive it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, I just think I just think it's really cool. If it's if it's a building, I want to explore it, mm -hmm. and, um, and it's so. Oh. He's got drafting lines in it. Feels oh like. yeah, oh so yeah. He's he's, he's, he's there building was, something. There was a T square involved. Yeah, yeah. He's building something. <laughs> yeah. But this is really cool. That's it's really very cool. very cool and. I'm wow. sure people around this place are really glad that he did it. Oh, I would, I, I, I would <laughs> be glad. I'm glad that he did it. Oh wow! All right, let's look at his. Is this the last one? All ah. right, here we ah. go. <laughs> this is. The, this is on a freeway um, side piece. It's on the side of a freeway over a, a long wall, and like it's speed racer, man. It's yeah, it is futuristic. We're into the future. It's They're taking off. I don't know what the heck that is, but like you said, I want to ride it or drive it or fly it or yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's or a eat Star at the Wars restaurant at speed serving. racer. The, yeah. or who knows what the heck is going on? It's there. it's just. No what I like and what I like about him, and I can't say this about all the, the others, which are which are brilliant, by the way. Um I look at this guy all day. Mm -hmm. I look at this stuff all day. And there's something about his work. He is so it's so clean. Yeah. Doesn't it look so clean? 
Yeah, yeah. And it, I, it, this one does have a little bit of that transformer feel to uh-huh. it as well. Same thing. But he included um, his Pantone, a Pantone chart in here. See that little, those little. Sure did, didn't he? Like what? So he's still he's like he's creating, and he's like, "This is my canvas. This is what I'm creating with. Here's my Pantone chart." And then you see that re- reproduced in what looks like a wheel. I'm not quite sure what's going on, but oh, it's cool. Man. And he's got another Pantone chart down the very left, a little you know, little uh, paint samples. See that in the very far left, yeah, the very yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, squares? yeah. Oh yeah. I, what I like about it, like I'm, I'm kind of obsessed right now with '70s art, like um, commercial art. Yeah. So, like when I see like these. You know, those rays, those yellow tones, the sunrise, sunset rays. Uh huh. I'm, I'm into it. And these are all people of faith. They're all, and so they have, they are operating um, from a, a, a knowledge of the Lord and a knowledge, a personal understanding of it. And it may not be our understanding. And, and what I like about what I like about this, this piece. So, oh, first of all, bravo! Boys. Yes, guys, good job. That bravo! Was, that was definitely challenging stuff. Good job. But here's here's what I like about all of this, is the one common is there is a, they have a, a faith commonality. And, they are. But they are they are conformed by their faith, but they're not conformed by church culture. No, there's no church culture in this. That's right. There's no clip art in this. No, and the thing and that's and the thing is 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 that this is what I hope that that I'm inspired yeah, by. Yeah, me too. In these guys, in each one of them, I'm first of all I'm very inspired. I'm, you know, I was talk we were talking yesterday, that I just this is this is exciting to me. Yeah. And I wanted to be excited and to be inspired. This is very exciting to me. And the thing I, I love about all of this, all of these, is that um, they are paying attention to what is inside of them as opposed to the expectations of those around him. I think we get bogged down in our faith when there are too many voices dictating how we should be expressing our walk with Jesus right. and how we should be. We are too worried about, I think I we're too worried about being the morality sheriff to each other. <laughs> you you know, yeah. you shouldn't be doing that. And are we doing that? And these are these are people who said, This is inside of me. Mm-hmm. I wanna I wanna get it out. And I hope that you will it will minister to you and it will be a blessing to you. Okay, now that you've seen everybody, all the other artists, can you pick out who's who? I think so. Like that top one with the eyes is clearly the first guy that we saw. I yeah. forgot what his name was. What was his? Store boogie. boogie. Yeah, Boogie is the, the one on the top right. Yeah. The purple girl with the wings has got to be that gal. The yeah, new, silhouette. Silhouette with the Art Nouveau feature. I think um, the the middle piece underneath the the girl face underneath that, sh- yeah, that's uh, med- media. Yeah, yeah. And I see other evidence of media. And then the the characters on the sad figure yes. on the top right, left, or the right. Yes. Um, that would be the subway guy. What was his name? Him and that uh, or that one and that big the, the Tetris big guy. The Tetris guy. Elixir. Elixir, yeah. Yeah, so we can definitely pick out the pieces. I'm not quite sure about the the white faced one right dead smack metal. Oh that's that's uh, um that's boogie. That's boogie. I sure. saw I saw For sure. Yeah, that's boogie. You guys, this is really cool. I mean, thank you for stretching us on something that we wouldn't have normally have gravitated to. And you know what, it's really interesting too that that I and I think LA has been leading the way in that um, it has given it it has it has and I want to say this right street art is no longer outlaw art right 
and they're giving they're giving um, outlaws legitimacy, legitimacy, yeah, in a good way. Um, and and in L.A., I love that we you can go on a stretch of the ten going into L.A. and see these beautiful, oh yeah, beautiful murals. Yeah, I know. I, I'm and I wish I could. I was never in traffic. I wish I was in more traffic so I could stop and look at it. But you can't. But you're so glad that it's there. It's so like, glad it's there. I don't know who came up with that concept of uh, commissioning street artists to decorate their stuff. I think that's a great idea. Oh, because it, it validates who they are as creators. Absolutely. It also, you know, erases stuff that shouldn't be on there, like you know, gang graffiti. Uh -huh. Now I know, I know that you could consider that an art form. Uh huh. But you know, when I walk into the bathrooms and I see, you know, graffiti, it's like, this isn't. Do something with it. Yeah, right. Just <laughs> let's just let's just be real. Yeah. Right. It's not art. And uh, so I love I love this type of expression. And yeah, kudos to these guys of of not doing Christian clip art and not being mediocre about it. It's just it awesome. won't be it won't be everybody's cup of tea. Oh, for sure. I don't think you know. I don't think anybody in my church. There would be very few people in my church who would say, "Oh, I really, I really like this," yeah. because there there would be those who who say, let me put it this way. If you look at it and say, I don't get it, yeah. okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's what it's supposed You have to permission yeah. to not get it. And that's that's I th that's the thing I don't think we, why art becomes a tyranny is because when people look at something and they don't get it, they think they have to. Right. And and you don't have to get it. And And... It's it's okay. You have permission because if you feel like you have to get it, then you're under a tyranny that um, the artist never meant for you to be under. Yeah. And and God bless it. Yeah. God bless it. All right. Very cool. Let's thank you a, guys. Yeah. Thank you guys. Let's put a bow on it. It's really good. We. That I think was we're a gonna, good one. I think we're gonna have to do this again. That yeah. Was oh fun. yeah. 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 Um. Yeah. And then uh, let's. Shout out to these local artists, and maybe we can get one of them to come to Claremont someday. I don't know. But that would yeah, be awesome. Yeah, it was really good. And, yeah, I think you need to attack your, uh, start painting up Claremont First Baptist <laughs> Church there. Just, <laughs> just, yeah, just say, tell well, the board, you know what, I'm uh, sorry, but some graffiti guy came in and tagged our building. <laughs> <laughs> and it only took him six that, months that's to right. do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, next week, uh, or our next episode, we'll have local artist, musician, and pastor Kurt Phillips. Look forward and to it. It's going to be a fun show. Yeah. And uh, thanks, for guys, for tuning in and watching. And we'll, we'll see you next time, or hear you next time. God bless. Peace. <laughs>